Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. In today's video guys, we will show you how to remove and replace Turbo Boost Solenoid on BMW 5 Series F10 guys. Stay with us, that's what we will be covering today. Quick introduction guys, every single car we get at the shop, including this BMW here guys, we make more than 200 videos on this one here. I think we will even have close to 300-400 videos, we'll be taking it completely apart. Why we guys do all that? Simply because our mission in the shop is to save you guys as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel and like the video guys, hopefully you will find it information helpful now uh, if you guys need to buy a new part any of the tools that we use in the videos you can find the link in the description of the video below check it out all that will be shared there for your convenience so we have a 2013 BMW 528i that we will demonstrate on but I think it will work on uh, different engines as well so uh, we will explain how things go uh, what we need to do everything from start to finish stay with us and we'll start on it now so as you can see uh, the only thing missing right here now is the engine uh, air filter box assembly with the holes. Why? Because we'll be putting a new timing chain guys as you know This is a very weak spot on that engine and we'll have the whole video from start to finish How to remove and how to replace the timing chain So now on the back side guys right here, okay You need to disconnect these two hoses with a clip removal tool. Two of them are broken The clips are broken right here. Somebody broke them in the past. Two are still good. Now right here We have a vacuum guys vacuum line, okay? Let me show you this vacuum line right here that you need to grab, okay, right here and slide out. Careful not to break it. Now when you lift it up, you're going to have another vacuum line that you have to be extremely careful. Grab it gently up, then slide out. Okay, and right here, this is the vacuum line that we need to disconnect, guys. Okay, underneath. So push in here now, okay push in here and disconnect you can see you have two spots only that you press in one on this side one on this so squish in pull it out now <coughs> you can see the cover you can simply pull it out on the back side these two teeth guys okay they go okay all the way right here when you install it it's important to get them in another thing guys on the front okay you have two bow two two bow clips one here one over there that attach guys okay to the front side of the engine over here okay and you have a third one okay right there which is actually located all the way to the engine computer so those are all the clips guys and that's how you remove it careful here with va vacuum lines later you have to connect everything otherwise your car will not perform right and you may get a um, uh, code for vacuum leak turbo problems because that's the turbo vacuum boost solenoid guys so once you guys remove the engine cover okay once you get that engine cover out of the way we can actually see where that uh, turbo boost solenoid is located guys okay you will notice that our intake uh, here is missing this is because uh, we'll be taking the engine completely apart for timing chain replacement so uh, check it out video will be on the channel guys we're going to cover everything but you can see that's where the turbo boost solenoid connects to that those are the lines that we disconnected so looking at it now guys okay this is the solenoid uh, valve okay right here turbo boost solenoid valve that device right here guys so we need to disconnect the wiring harness by pressing down and pulling out okay perfect now right here we have another vacuum line that goes to the turbo boost okay that we we can actually disconnect that one when we remove it okay i think we'll be able to pull it up a little bit and twist it that way we can get it out uh, those are the tools that we'll need to use for that repair guys all the tools and parts that we use in our videos you can find the links listed in the description of the video below for your convenience guys please check it out so uh, what's the socket that we need okay this is a torx torx 30 star looking bit guys right there torx 30 so we're going to go ahead remove one bolt now i'm going to hold it with my hand remove the bolt here It's actually a screw guys I told you it's a bolt I think it's a screw because it screws in the plastic valve cover okay we have one more on this side second one just get it loose you don't need to get it all the way out now we need to disconnect that boost line guys that uh, vacuum line excuse me so just okay and this one is getting old you can see how it started cracking careful not to break it okay perfect and this one guys okay 
came out just like that now uh, if you need to buy a replacement one we'll have the link in the description of the video below guys check it out uh, also putting it together practically practically is in reverse order we took it apart thank you for watching please subscribe to the channel for more videos and see you guys next time